Welcome back to the channel, Lancers. I wish everyone power and precision. I hope that everyone is enjoying their holiday as well. If you are new to the channel, then this channel is your source for Anthem Grandmaster 3 tier builds, loadouts, and gameplay for the Colossus, Interceptor, Ranger, and Storm Javelins, as well as tips and tutorial videos on how to maximize your Javelin's damage potential and survivability for Grandmaster 3. If you enjoyed the content on the channel, then click the subscribe button to join up with the rest of the Alliance Legion. Also, click the bell so that you'll be notified of every video upload. In today's video, we'll be reviewing a key topic within the current state of Anthem. How to maximize your legendary weapon arsenal, part 1, assault and marksman rifles. Now notice that I mentioned legendary. This is because after all of our various efforts, we want the legendary weapons that we receive to be as close to perfect regarding their inscription set as we can get them to be so that we can have the best options available when choosing a weapon to equip when choosing our loadout. Therefore, this strategy should be utilized on all weapon rarities to help ensure that we solidify our inscription prioritization. The strategy that we will cover revolves around my understanding of Anthem's combat and damage system in relation to how our javelins perform within that sphere. This strategy has worked well for me and I hope that it does for you as well. Firstly, to me, weapons in Anthem are primarily used to supplement damage from the javelin. Our highest damage numbers outside of weapons designed to be heavy damage dealers will be from our javelin's abilities and combos. However, Weapon damage should not be neglected due to this as higher difficulties like Grandmaster 2 and Grandmaster 3 will require each of our damage sources to be optimized in order to be successful. Relying on one weapon to carry the majority of our damage workload will make completing Grandmaster 2 and Grandmaster 3 content more difficult than it needs to be. An exception to this would be if we are able to route ridiculous modifiers into a high damage dealing weapon with a reasonable magazine size in comparison to its damage output. I have a video detailing this uploading soon. It is also important to note that the weapon damage inscription increases the weapon's base damage and the damage of the weapon's inherent effect. Secondly, for this topic, we have Sustain. Sustain is a key factor in combat to consider. Sustain is the ability to survive in combat, more specifically, armor heals and shield regeneration. The ability to heal our armor and or shields with a priority on armor will always be highly beneficial to our overall sustain. Now because sustain is so important, I actually keep at least one version of each weapon with armor and or shield inscriptions. I prioritize armor over shields in most cases. Thus, the strategy that we will review regarding these two critical points would be to maintain a weapon arsenal with inscriptions that increase our weapon's damage output in the most beneficial way and maintaining weapons with inscriptions that increase our sustain. In Anthem, Masterwork and Legendary weapons have additional inherent effects. Due to these effects, the weapon's base damage may be lower to offset the damage or utility provided by its inherent effect. We will try to keep these points in mind when deciding upon which weapon inscriptions to prioritize. Now let's take a look at each of the assault and marksman rifles and discuss which properties of each weapon make it more useful or deadly to assist us in deciding upon our preferred inscription set. Let's begin with the least accurate rifle type and end with the most accurate. This makes our starting set the assault rifle weapon type. In general, Assault rifles are designed to deal respectable damage from close to mid-range. Assault rifles become drastically less effective at longer ranges due to their inaccuracy. Therefore, weapon aim and recoil reduction inscriptions are particularly useful in that they can help bolster weapon accuracy making them more reliable at longer ranges. I have the Elemental Rage as the primary weapon in two of my builds. The first is for the Colossus and the second for the Storm. For the Colossus build that utilizes the Elemental Rage Assault Rifle, I do not prioritize the weapon aim inscription, as I should be at a range suitable for the Elemental Rage to perform adequately. Conversely, for the Storm build, I do prioritize the weapon aim inscription, as it is much more critical for the Storm to maintain the benefit of the Elemental Rage's inherent effect, and the Storm Javelin performs best outside of the fray of the action so the increase in accuracy would be ideal here. 
For our first rifle from this set to review, we have the Divine Vengeance. The Divine Vengeance is my favorite assault rifle. The Divine Vengeance's unique effect is that it detonates fire explosions on every third weak point hit. Because of the Divine Vengeance's inherent effect that is triggered by weak point hits, the weapon aim and weapon recoil inscriptions are highly beneficial to the weapon. Being able to more consistently trigger this effect will enable the Divine Vengeance to be a weapon that can be relied upon to the degree that we could utilize this weapon as the focal point of a build, especially for the Ranger and Storm Javelins. Our next assault rifle will be the Elemental Rage. The Elemental Rage deals the least amount of damage on its own. However, the Elemental Rage's true power lies in its inherent effect. The Elemental Rage increases elemental damage sources by 100%. The Storm Javelin is all about harnessing the elements and unleashing their power. This makes the Elemental Rage a deadly tool in the hands of an Elite Lancer that pilots the Storm Javelin. And lastly, we have the Rounder's Blaze Assault Rifle. The Rounder's Blaze is hands down the best assault rifle in the game. The Rounder's Blaze's inherent effect is that it ignites our enemies with fire on a 5 hit streak. Because of the Rounder's Blaze's inherent effect that is triggered by a 5 hit streak, the Weapon Aim, Weapon Aim Recoil, and Weapon Magazine Size inscriptions are highly beneficial to the weapon. Being able to more consistently trigger this effect without requiring a constant reload will enable the Rounder's Blaze to be a weapon that can be relied upon to the degree that we could utilize this weapon as the focal point of a build. And I utilize the Rounder's Blaze as the primary weapon of many of my builds. This concludes all of the Masterwork and Legendary Assault Rifles, so let's review the Marksman Rifles, the Death From Above, Soothing Touch, and Thunderbolt of Yavinia. Now in general, Marksman Rifles are designed to deal high damage from close to long range. Marksman Rifles generally have lower rates of fire to compensate for the high damage output. As we mentioned earlier, in Anthem, Masterwork, and Legendary weapons have additional inherent effects. Now because of these effects, some of the rifle's base damage may be lower than others to offset the damage or utility of its inherent effect. Let's begin with the Death From Above. The Death From Above is actually one of my favorite weapons to use. I just dislike the aesthetics of the weapon model. Regardless, the weapon fires a powerful 3-shot burst. The weapon has a base damage of 907. The inherent effect is that while hovering, weak point damage is increased by 235%. Therefore, we can conclude that this weapon is designed to be a surgical weak point powerhouse. Thus, global damage inscriptions, weapon damage, weak point damage, weapon aim, and weapon recoil inscriptions will be highly beneficial here. Moving on to our secondary marksman rifle, the Soothing Touch. The Soothing Touch is the highest physical damage dealer in its class. To offset this high damage, there is high recoil. However, due to its inherent effect of successful hits, reducing recoil, this disadvantage can be mitigated through well-placed and paced shots. Because the Soothing Touch boasts such a high base damage, utilizing weapon damage inscriptions coupled with global damage inscriptions are uniquely effective on this weapon. And finally, the Thunderbolt of Yavinia. The Thunderbolt of Yavinia is the most unique out of this set of rifles because its inherent effect calls down random bolts of high damaging lightning strikes on our enemies. Due to this lightning damage effect, utilizing elemental damage, electric or lightning damage inscriptions, javelin specific electric or lightning components coupled with lightning sigils can greatly assist in bolstering this weapon's power. This is particularly effective with the Storm Javelin, as it has many lightning amplifiers. I hope that you found the information and ideas regarding effective weapon inscriptions useful, as weapon damage inscriptions are not always the best option. If you appreciate the video and information, click that like button for the video. You can also click the subscribe button to join up with the rest of the Lions Legion. Also, share the video as well and help spread positive support for Anthem. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. And to all my lions and lionesses in the Legion, always let them hear your roar and stay growling. <laughs>